guys, welcome back to my channel. Very excited for today's video because I have tested some new makeup. Uh, I have like two boxes. Oh my god, wait. I have two boxes. I'll be sharing with you my reviews. Um, some are forced impressions and some are things that I've, uh, that I've already tried. Um, actually, I wasn't planning to do something like this but i'll tell you more about that later in the video um if you hear any loud noises in the background i'm really really sorry about it they will stop and honestly i can't do anything it's out of my control and i do not want to shoot any of my videos in like a ring light or artificial light i try to do it in natural lighting as much as possible because i think it just looks best I think let's start with base products the things that i use in the order um i have a foundation and a concealer let's start with the foundation uh, so this is not i think this was released last year not la last year but it just sounds like very like long ago but this was launched i think two months ago um this is the kiros daily dewy serum foundation it comes in a packaging like this um I got this in PR, I just want to put it out there. Uh, this is the Kiro Daily Dewy Serum Foundation and this has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and niacinamide. Um, also, I think it's a trend to skincare and makeup. Anyways, this is how the bottle looks like. Very, very lightweight. Uh, it it is a plastic bottle so you can just carry it, carry it with you conveniently. This is the packaging, the regular uh, squeeze tube wala packaging. Um, and let's talk about the foundation. I think I've used this enough uh, for you, for me to give a review about this. Now this foundation, when I heard the name like a daily dewy serum foundation, when I think of a serum foundation, I imagine it to be a little bit runny. I imagine it to have a thinner consistency. But this one surprisingly has a thicker uh, since you do it, you'll see in the clip. I think the first time I tried this, I used my fingers and I really liked how it blends with the fingers. Uh, even though it's very like thick, I think it's very easy to blend with your fingers if you don't mind. So I've used my fingers one side of my face to blend this foundation using my fingers and the other side I've used a beauty blender. There is definitely a difference. Um, the beauty blender side definitely looks lot more natural and it was very easy and very quick in blending with the beauty blender the finish of this is something that's not overly dewy even though it says dewy it does have a slight bit of dewiness to it i will say that because um i wanted to see this foundation on its own so i didn't use any kind of hydrating primer or i didn't use any setting spray so that so that i can uh, show you how it actually looks without all of those things obviously if you use a hydrating primer or nice hydrating setting mist this will any foundation for that matter will look a little bit dewy not so much as i thought it would um, it has like light to medium coverage so you can definitely build it up and it will provide you with some nice amount of coverage i think it's a good i think it's a good foundation by kiro also the shade range is really i know very very disappointing i hope they come out with like more shades kiro is a brand that has to come with more shades they just have four shades and i think the shade is zero two sun beige it matches me pretty pretty well so yeah if you if you can find your shade in this you can go for it i uh, also picked up this concealer from mars this is the mars blossom concealer i've tried so many products from mars and i really like their base products uh, i think they're very good quality at that at the price that you get for uh, this is the mars blossom concealer i picked up the shade 03 warm sand i was very confused about the shade because every other shade kind of looked similar so i was um pretty confused this particular shade which is uh, warm sand has a light has a slight bit of yellow undertone and i like my concealers to have that yellow undertone rather than that white pinkish undertone because it also helps in cancelling that if i have any darkness it also helps in cancelling that it, now this is not a full coverage concealer i feel like this has a medium coverage which uh looks very natural um blended beautiful blends very nicely um it has i was actually expecting this to be more hydrating but this has like a semi matte finish um not very very hydrating for my skin this also has a very particular uh, fragrance to it yeah, it does have a very strong like a hair oil kind of fragrance to it which kind of puts me off but i'm like 
when I put it on my under eyes, I can't really like smell it. But yeah, just a heads up. Okay, let's move on to some exciting products, which most of you are probably here for. So I actually uh, didn't realize, but I have like a lot of Swiss beauty. I picked up a lot of Swiss beauty products. Now, this was the main reason I wanted to do this video, like a full-on video, like trying new makeup because of this. This is the Swiss Beauty Craze line collection uh, which is very which is only exclusively available on purple i even checked their website but i couldn't find anything um the minute i saw it i placed my order so i picked up two products these other products except for the packaging didn't really intrigue me um these are two products that really really caught my attention let's first talk about this blush uh, so this is a swiss beauty lip and cheek macaroon and this is the packaging oh my god <laughs> this is so nice a lot of you a lot of you are telling me that the gym is very similar to tower beauty and it is look at that and this packaging doesn't feel cheap plastic it actually feels really really nice um this is how the packaging looks like uh, it's so so pretty i love the name also by the way i picked up the shade brown pie two of the shades are very similar but i picked up brown pie and this only retails for $2.99 people are gonna start duping this I don't know kis, kis ka dupe hai because I've seen very similar packaging in our Indian brands also this was the first time I tried this product on I have it on my cheeks um first impressions me I don't have I don't have a lot to say but the formula of this is very very creamy when I first used my finger I was like wow this is creamy um application is also very smooth blends really well I would suggest that you use um your beauty blender to blend this I think it blended best with a beauty sponge it is quite pigmented so you might start with a little less product now when i looked up the shade online it was pretty brown so i was expecting it to have a little bit brown weight but now when i look at now when i look at the actual product on the pan it has more pink to it I use the keto foundation which which does have a slight bit of dewiness to it right so when i use this it did not mattify that portion it did not mattify my skin because if this had a powdery or a very like um more matte finish i think this would like um tone down my dewiness but it did not my skin still looks glowy definitely had has a natural finish to it and i would say it's but also I would say it's not something very very unique you know and it's not something different other than the fact that you get like such pretty packaging um, if you have a lot of cream blushes already I think you can skip on this one it is tinted lip balm and on the website it was mentioned non-transfer so I was like that can't be true and it wasn't okay it's not transfer proof the whole theme of this is pink pink basically pink and when you see the actual product it looks like a lipstick okay the shade that i got is marshmallow again um just i think this is the only shade that i was excited to try this lip balm i like i really really liked it it has a very nice sheer brown tint to it it's it glides on like butter butter very very moisturizing i wore this the other day and i could still feel even when the tint came off i could still feel that moisturization so i do feel it's very moisturizing product i don't have a product like this i i don't really liked it uh, moisturized my lips it being a lip balm love the tint it is, it, it is a tint that looks so beautiful it has a very nice sheer brown tint to it which i really like and looked very nice on me also so I again if you already own a lot of tinted lip balms then you can skip this but i don't own anything like this so i really liked it move on to another swiss beauty product this is again a lip product this is the swiss beauty plump up plump up plump up wet gloss now this is a new launch i spotted this on nika even before i saw this collection and i was like i'm gonna buy this uh, this retails only for 250 rupees and i think this has to be one of the best from this haul um i love this gloss it's very very lightweight it's not sticky it does not have the it does not have a very thick formula so it's not sticky uh, it does feel lightweight and comfortable i was expecting this to be a little bit deeper but this also again has a very sheer tint to it if you're expecting this to have a lot of pigment um it's not it's not the most like pigmented lip gloss but i really like it i don't know camera page looking a little bit 
a little too pink but it's not it's a very muted color uh, it's not pigmented it's not this is the shade i really really liked the formulation of this gloss Let's move on to mascara okay uh, mascara number one i have one more mascara uh, mascara this is the essence lash princess mascara now this mascara i have been on a hunt for this mascara um i've seen this being sold out everywhere every minute it just gets sold out so mintra has a lot of um so mintra has so many like products at a really lower price even lower than nika so you can so you might want to check it out this is the one now i couldn't use this in today's video but i have already uploaded a shorts on this particular mascara before this video so you can go watch it that was the first time using it it has a i don't know what wand is this but it has a very it has a thin wand it does make my lashes look very voluminous and very very um gives me the length and volume basically also curls up my lashes one thing that i really really liked about this mascara is that it holds my curls cuz i wore it the other day and till like night my lashes were looking how it was looking Like if this mascara is good, my life is sorted because this is also a very affordable mascara. If you're looking for a mascara that gives you, that will give you the volume, the length, and will hold your curls and you hold your curl of your lashes. Get this. Liked it. I really am impressed by this. So I have these two faced products that I really wanted to try. This comes in a kit of two, and um, because of the sale, I also got like a free sample. This is their. lip injection maximum plump like uh, so this is how it looks like um so you get a mini two faced better than sex mascara again a very very popular mascara that i was time to try got it it's very very tiny first of all um as expected two faced lip injection extreme um this is how it looks like it is so this is the size difference okay the mascara is definitely a lesser quantity and the lip injection is a little bit bigger both of these for i think i think around 1150 which i think is a pretty pretty good deal if you have been wanting to try this go and try the minis first like me i always always when it comes to high end um the products are very expensive so i always go for the minis first a product again that's very very popular um i tried it the other day and i have seen so many people like people saying that it's very very uh, stinging on your lips and it's something that you can't handle so i was really scared but i just went ahead and applied like nice coat of it and during the first few minutes few seconds i couldn't feel anything but after a minute i did feel a slight tingling but it wasn't bad it wasn't actually it wasn't even like, was so bearable in my opinion i don't know if i have like a higher tolerance as like i went ahead and applied again another coat of it because i was like is this true uh, and then i couldn't feel a lot of you know like stinging sensation so it was mild in my opinion or it's just me i don't know if you have tried this let me know um, i think after 5 10 minutes i did see a little bit of plumping obviously it's not extreme it's not extreme i didn't see an like a very like big difference but um my upper lip is a little bit less thin it is a little bit thinner compared to my lower so when i lower lip so when i used it um i could see that my upper lip was a little bit plump it is something i can use every day there's also another thing that i noticed when i used this that my lips felt so moisturized and this still feels so long lasting on my lips and my lips do feel very very hydrated and moisturized which I'm very much liking this product like the sensation is something i think i, I just had i think i've just had worse so i've been buying mascaras a lot lately because i have been on the hunt to find some really good mascaras uh, so that i can find some best ones for you um this is the two faced better than sex mascara again like a very much hyped product so this has a hourglass shape wand reminds me very much of the l'oreal lash paradise now this one gives this mascara gives you insane amount of volume i think even if you have like very straight and short lashes this will give you some volume i won't say much because mascaras and first impressions don't really work for me always 
change my mind um, after a few uses and I have a different opinion altogether. If I like these mascaras, you will definitely see these in any of my future favorites video for sure. One thing that I really want to point about this mascara is that it is not clumpy. Like I went on and on of applying this on my lashes and it did not make my lashes clumpy at all. It definitely does not have that clumpy formula which I really really like. The best products that I've tried, I think it would definitely be all the lip products. Um, for now, it will be all the lip products. Um, loved the tinted lip balm, the lip injection is something that I really like and the gloss, you know. Like so, mascaras are really good but need to test them out more. I really like the Kiko foundation also but I don't want to say that it's the best and uh, you can like just go and buy it because it is very expensive. Because I myself, I wouldn't go and buy without thinking anything, I wouldn't go and buy it, you know. Um, so I think we are done with the video. Um, these were all of the products that I tried. These were my first impressions, uh, second, third impressions. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. All of the product links will be in the description box below. And, and I will see you soon with another video. I think that is a video that's going to be really helpful for all of you. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!